more than a million Americans are being told to evacuate as deadly Hurricane Matthew barrels towards Florida and the southeast. The powerful storm has already devastated parts of Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. At least 11 people are reported dead. Matthew weakened slightly overnight as it closed in on the Bahamas. It is now a Category 3 hurricane with maximum sustained winds around 125 miles an hour. But the storm is expected to intensify and begin lashing Florida tomorrow evening before moving up the coast. Omar Villafranca is in Georgetown, the Bahamas, which is in the bullseye right now. Omar, good morning. Good morning. The wind is starting to pick up as Matthew gets closer to the Bahamas. The storm is expected to carve through the islands after leaving parts of Haiti and Cuba in shambles. Powerful winds blew out windows in Haiti, while torrential rains triggered raging floodwaters. The storm collapsed a bridge in Petit Gauvab, cutting off southern Haiti from the rest of the country. Throughout the country, high water swallowed bridges, flooding neighborhoods with debris. Downed power lines knocked out electricity, and trees littered roads, making them impassable. People used axes and machetes to try and clear the way. In the capital of Port-au-Prince, bulldozers were brought in to try and clear debris. At least 10,000 people are still in shelters. Matthew made a second landfall on the eastern tip of Cuba Tuesday night. A Cuba civil defense official says the failure of a fiber optic cable has cut off communication in that area. They will have to wait until after the storm passes to evaluate the damage. Here in the Bahamas, people in Nassau boarded up windows and stocked up on supplies Tuesday. My stomach tells me that this one might be bad, but we live in hope and we trust that everything works out bad for us. The U.S. dispatched approximately 100 military personnel and multiple helicopters to Grand Cayman Island. Rear Admiral Cedric Pringle says they are standing by in case a Caribbean nation requests help. We will be uh, tasked to provide support uh, in the affected area and just do whatever needs to be done in order to stabilize the conditions. Matthew is expected to hit this area this evening. If there's any good news is that by that time, the high tide should be going out by the time the storm makes landfall here. But the storm surge and the massive amount of rain are still the main threats. Gail? Omar Villafranca reporting from the Bahamas. We thank you.